Who else had Gretchen? I think I saw your hand up a while ago. Who are you doing dealing with? Um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this one's uh, this one's new to me. Um, seems rather disturbingly intriguing. Okay, Kamikaze Girls. We're all fascinated with uh, Japanese anime and non-anime culture. Uh, what is the author's name? Novala. Spell? N O V A L A. Is that a first or last name, or is it an only name? Novala Takemoto, writing Kamikaze Girls. Excellent. Tell me about the book. hate each other than they like each other yeah. and it's just a story of friendship across divides yeah. all right and he's using the <coughs> contrasting fashions as sort of a emphasis mechanism to emphasize their differences and then their yeah. okay oh. kind of like the Jew rivers in a separate piece all right however one of these girls does not throw the other one out of a tree no. okay good because I've had enough of that <coughs> have you learned anything about Takemoto uh, yes. what have you learned So Takemoto is in his personal life. Wait a minute. What? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. He has an interest in the fashions as in like just interested in fashions or interested in wearing them? Uh, a little of both. So Takemoto is wearing the Lolita dress fashion? <laughs> hey, you know what? Cross-dressing does not imply homosexuality. And anybody who thinks it does has a really blunt and unsophisticated understanding of sexuality. Cross-dressing um, occurs with homosexuality or with heterosexuality. Okay, so we've got a novelist who is a cross-dresser, and obviously some of these ten... I can't believe I'm recording this. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is good. Hold on. Um, the, the academic connections are worthwhile, so we'll, we'll continue with this discussion. Um, he is focusing on girls who are wearing girls' fashions. Obviously, he has an interest in this. He has an interest somehow in assuming at least part of, and maybe it's only superficial in terms of the dress, at least part of a female persona. So the narrator's a woman? So it makes sense that the narrator's a woman because he is assuming the voice of a woman. And if his, in his own personal life he has these tendencies, then yeah. There's the connection. The connection is fairly clear. This connection is relatively insignificant and superficial. Um, the rural Japan thing, it's more interesting to talk about why he chose the narrators he did, the characters he did, and the fashion devices that he did. Oh. Anything else? Okay, let me clarify something because I think you've hit on something that I want to caution everybody about. It's easy enough to say that an author has an interest in a thing. Like you could say the author is interested in punk rock. All right, great. But that's relatively insubstantial. To say that the author has his own punk band, now that's concrete and that's substantial. 
if you say, Takemoto once read a book about cross-dressing. OK. Or Takemoto is a cross-dresser. Whoa. There's a huge difference there. And the huge difference is one is just a passing interest, and we all have passing interest. The other one is actually making a lifestyle choice. So the lifestyle choices, um, like Rand's lifestyle choice of actually bailing from Soviet Russia and going to the United States, that's significant. And that's the one that you want to make the connection with. So the interest in punk rock might be good, and you want, might want to mention it. But I would figure this as the core, because he's made that lifestyle choice. He's actually done something in that regard. Okay. Did I see a hand? Was it a question or just another idea? Yeah. You want another example? Any other questions about cross-dressing or anything else? Omar, you have a question about cross-dressing. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to make it not <laughs> Yes, indeed. Can you have an option to just write about a certain genre a lot? Like, I'm finding, like... That Matheson writes a lot of horror and science fiction? Yeah. What's uh, what's going on? I can't remember Matheson's background. What's going on in his background? Does he have any war experience? I'm not sure. Okay. Like, I usually uh, pull off like an interview, like an actual interview, interview, and they're like, so what was like your motivation for writing this book? I'm like, oh, I just like to write horror and science fiction. <laughs> <laughs> and he says, I just like to. Well, then the genre might not be your focus. You might focus on characterization. You might focus on setting. Um, you might focus on uh, any other ideas that are not necessarily genre. So the genre, you might be right, might just be m an issue of taste. He just likes that. Uh, but uh, there are probably other elements of the novel that are more substantially um, drawn from his own life. Because the first principle you learn about writing is that authors write what they know. You can't totally fabricate everything, no matter how fantasy-oriented you are. I mean, we were talking about Alice's Adventures in Wonderland in second period today and how Lewis Carroll draws inspiration from his own life to write that novel. No matter how fantasy you are, it's got to have grounding in your own life. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to write it. So find something else. Don't look at the genre quite so much. Question? Uh, yeah, as long as it's quick, because Michael's offered his up. Okay. 